Hey, Dan here with Sweet Maria's. I put together this short video to show you some of the basic search functions that we have built into our green coffee list. It may seem pretty straightforward, and um, I think for the most part, our website is fairly intuitive. However, at any given time of the year, we have 50 plus coffees. And so hopefully um, demonstrating some of the filter tools and different ways to search the site uh, makes it even easier to find the coffee that you're looking for. So here we go. When you hover your mouse over the green coffee tab on the home page, a list of coffee origins show up in the drop down menu below. Uh, these are only origins that are currently in stock, and just because you don't see a particular region represented doesn't mean we don't carry it. Um, the chances are we're going to have it down the road uh, when that coffee is in season. Let's go ahead and click Burundi as an example. This takes us to the origin page where you can view the current coffees in stock for this particular region. And at the top here, you can also view a little background info and coffee history on that origin. Clicking the Read More link opens up an expanded origin page in a new tab. Um, you're now in the coffee library. And here you can read more on that region and see related articles and videos. Let's go back to the green coffee page and open up a coffee record. On the main page, you get some indication of how a coffee tastes from the short description and score, as well as by looking at the cupping and flavor graphs below. Uh, you can add coffee to your shopping cart, of course, and um, perhaps most importantly, you can check the list of, of uh, coffee specs like cultivar and process type uh, and read the full farm and cupping notes. For those who already know what coffee they want to buy and don't need to read the review, you can actually just do that right from the main um, origin page. Just select the weight that you are looking to buy and add it to your cart and you should be good to go. Comparing coffees can be a little bit tricky from the main record. So to avoid having to toggle between screens, we added a compare tool to make it a bit easier. Um, by clicking the compare button in the quick view, the coffee's added to your compare view page that can be accessed at the top of the page by clicking compare products. Here you can compare features like processing and cultivar and uh, most importantly, how the coffee actually tastes at a glance. This is by no means perfect and still a bit of a work in progress. Uh, I think we'll be adding graphs to this view as well in the future, so be on the lookout for those changes and others. Another way to search our coffee list is by clicking green coffee at the top of the page in our menu. This takes you to our full green coffee list. It has some really cool sorting options for ways to narrow your focus uh, to only show specific search criteria. You can change the default view from origin to alphabetized and price low to high and vice versa. The default view in this first section shows only our in-stock coffees, but you can also search the archive by clicking this box. Searching the archive allows you to view information on coffees that are out of stock. You can also add archived coffees to the compare products view by opening up the quick view and selecting compare. This is a particularly useful tool when looking for a good replacement option for coffees we no longer have. You can also sort the list by price range or flavor and profile, which is broken down into two general categories, uh, how a coffee tastes and suitable roast levels. The flavor filter should only show coffees where that particular descriptor is a core characteristic. So Guatemalan coffee, for example, that has apple in the cup notes, but is otherwise bittersweet, it's not likely gonna be tagged as fruited. But on the other hand, a coffee that is both fruit forward and shows a lot of bitter sweetness when roasted dark, it's likely going to be tagged as both fruited and chocolate bitter sweets. Let's look at the fruited flavor tag as an example. Here I'd expect to see dry processed coffees and maybe some wilder washed coffees where fruit flavors are easily perceptible in the cup. And something to keep in mind is that selecting multiple flavor tags doesn't refine the list as you might expect. It actually broadens it. Uh, the list is going to include any coffee that has at least one of the selected filters, rather than only coffees that have all of the selected filters. Basically, if you sort the list by fruited and honey flavor categories, for example, you're going to see coffees with either of those tags, rather than only coffees tagged as having both of them as core characteristics. Moving down, we have categories good for espresso and good for milk drinks. And then we get into different types of coffee processing methods. So you can view only dry processed coffees or honey process, etc. You can also sort by farm gate, decaf, and um, a list of our current blends. 
I'll go ahead and clear all the filters so we can start with a full in-stock list and dive a little deeper into the coffee record layout from this view. So clicking the quick view will expand the coffee record to show information like the short description, in both the cupping and flavor graphs. You can link to the full review from here, and it's also a place where you can compare flavor notes for coffee records that are close to one another. You can also add coffee to your shopping cart from here by selecting the weight that you'd like to purchase and hitting Add to Cart. Uh, and the last feature I want to show you is this wishlist feature, which allows you to create a list of coffees that could be shared with others through email. Clicking wishlist automatically adds the coffee to the list and takes you to your wishlist. From here, you can email the list to someone by clicking the share wishlist button and then adding the emails of the intended recipients, uh, maybe including a note, and then clicking share wishlist at the bottom of the screen. The email will show the coffee record and include quick links for ordering. Thanks for watching.